we did a lunch on the Strand, and I remember the first one, we'd driven down from Birmingham, I parked the car in Covent Garden, and I remember walking towards the hotel and just being dwarfed by the size of the buildings. And I remember thinking, what on earth am I doing? I was about to stand in front of 50 people and persuade them this was a going concern and this was going to happen. And I remember this internal battle and thinking, David, if there's one day you cannot lose this fight, it's today. That's January. By the time we get to the October and the new Connaught rooms in Covent Garden, it was just extraordinarily exciting. I remember the room was absolutely packed. I mean, you could just feel the energy. There was another church planter there. He said to me after that day, I always knew this was going to fly. He said from that minute, he said, I knew this was going to happen. It's a very special thing to create an environment in which people get to do life. There's many moments where you just stop hugely grateful for the life of the church. Sometimes in worship is one of the times for me when there are hundreds and hundreds of people honouring God together. Uh, when people tell stories of lives changed, baptisms are wonderful moments where you hear people often tell extraordinary stories of how they found faith. What Jesus has done for me is uh, he's my captain, um, I'm on his team, the game's won. One of the most amazing things is over the years we get to do this with more and more and more people. One of the things that I get most excited about is seeing students from all over the world coming to London. Students who have never heard about Jesus before, meeting Jesus for the first time and then deciding, wow, this is something that I need to take back with me and share with my family and my friends. Seeing students really grasping not just who Jesus is, but how church can be a transforming community, and then thinking, how could that happen where I come from? That's one of the most exciting things. We think that God has something to say about all parts of life, not just the so-called spiritual things. Being a Christian and following God should affect the way we do business, the way we create art, the way we care for people in our neighbourhoods, all those sorts of things. The Everything Conference was a key factor for us in that. For three successive years we ran this conference where we gathered people from across the nation, where people could catch a glimpse of what it would look like for them to bring God into whatever area of life they find themselves in six days a week. I bet when God looks at this city, he says, that's the heart of what I'm going to do over the next hundred years in the city of London, in the nation of England. London has this whole mixture of needs and opportunities. There's greater need here in terms of care for the poor and social justice. There's also great need in terms of helping very successful people handle their ambition. My observation with London is that everything's an extreme. Things are harder and more exciting. Things are more challenging and with more opportunities than anywhere else. It's just like that with church. The opportunities for people to come to faith is greater. The challenge of living life here holistically and healthily is also harder. The opportunity to contribute to the culture and society shaping elements of this world are all here in this city.